For the past couple of years, we at NEO wanted to create the most technologically advanced vehicles that add real value to the lives of our users. Welcome back friends for one more update from the world of EV stocks. In case you're new to this channel, please do consider subscribing. And if you live in the United States, you can get two free shares worth up to $1,850 just by following the link in the description. Now enjoy the rest of the video. We have some pretty big updates about Kathy Wood's ARK Invest talking about NEO. But before that, we'll take a quick look at the technical charts of NEO. We are looking at the one-year chart for NEO, and something very unique stands out here. We see NEO has seen strong support at around that $35 mark for three times in a row. This kind of triple bottom on the technical chart is extremely rare, and it only points to a sharp upward trend afterwards. This means, barring from major broader market events, the NEO stock should safely move upwards from the current levels. Now coming back to the story on Kathy Wood's ARK Invest. A research report recently got published on the topic, and the report claims that NEO appears to be on the radar of Kathy Wood. In the light of a confluence of factors, the report believes that NEO is likely to become a part of the ARK Invest ETFs very soon. The report goes on to add, Kathy Wood had expressed positive sentiments about NEO in a March interview with Business Insider. She said in the interview, I have been very impressed by China's focus on electric vehicles both from an environmental point of view, and from a technology point of view. She had then gone on to note that her team was looking at NEO and other Chinese EV companies, including Xpeng and AutoX. The report goes on to dig deeper into the topic, and states the following factors why they think NEO may soon get added to ARK ETF. First, NEO secured a lucrative partnership with Sinopec, China's largest network of gasoline stations, for the deployment of its second-generation battery swap stations. The move would allow NEO to dramatically scale up its battery swap 2.0 station deployment across China with Sinopex assistance. As an illustration, the company now hopes to deploy at least 5,000 such stations across China by 2025. Through this move, NEO would be able to lock in a substantial number of existing and future customers to its ecosystem, thereby creating a monopoly of sorts in the largest market for electric vehicles. NEO is also tapping additional monetization avenues by opening its EV charging network to other OEMs in China, as was the recent case with Ford's Mustang Mach-E. Additionally, NEO is set to officially unveil its plans to enter the EU in early May, paving the way for the company to become a global story and not just a Chinese one. Finally, the company is ramping up the annual capacity of its existing plant, built in collaboration with JAC, to 300k units by the end of 2021. The report then goes on to add that it's most likely only a matter of time before NEO becomes a part of ARK ETFs, and that can unlock a huge amount of potential new inflows into the NEO stock. We also feel extremely bullish on the possibility. The growth in China is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for investment, and as the NEO story appears more and more promising with each day, we believe Kathy Wood would love to be a part of it too. NEO has recently also garnered a lot of fresh positive PR thanks to the Shanghai Auto Show. The ET7 is now being highly praised from everyone, and many are commenting it might just be the best electric sedan in the world once it starts delivering from next year. For the past couple of years, we at NEO wanted to create the most technologically advanced vehicles that add real value to the lives of our users. But on top of this, we are also on a pursuit for beauty and perfection. This is the essence of our idea of being driven by design. When we discussed the briefing for the first time with the product and design teams, we agreed that ET7 was going to be our most technologically advanced vehicle to date. It would have to have the latest in autonomous driving sensors and the next generation in-car technology, but also our most visually striking. The team and I wanted to reimagine what a premium car should be, both inside and out, to create a modern and dynamic vehicle fitting for the age of autonomous driving. In essence, we wanted the perfect sedan. Everything we design at NEO must fulfill four key criteria. It must be pure, human, progressive, and sophisticated. This is our design DNA and the foundation of any NEO product. 
ET7 is the first car we have designed that embodies all those qualities fully, but I wanted to add something else. When I think back to the iconic cars of the 70s, they were such clean and refined designs. The shape of the cars was so clear that if you closed your eyes, you could still draw them. I wanted to give the ET7 this simpler, clearer, and bolder silhouette. The X-Bar has been a key design feature across the Neo range. For ET7, we simplified it down even further to its purest expression, so it perfectly fits to our design language. To keep these fluid lines and not interrupt the contours of the car, we've seamlessly integrated the 33 sensors that power Aquila, Neo's autonomous driving system. At every opportunity, we've tried to keep the exterior as refined as possible. From the flush automatic door handles to the sweeping crystal-like tail lamps, even our frameless windows offer an uninterrupted view. When it came to the interior, we wanted to design the cabin around the concept of a second living room, so we simply treated it like one, because we want to provide our users with a feeling of a home when being on the road. The perfect living room is a balance of a few key elements. First off, you need natural light. The long, panoramic sunroof acts like a skylight, bathing the space with light. Secondly, we ensured, like you would at home, that the larger items sat well within the space. The seats, dashboard, and center console are all generous, but the cabin still feels spacious. The result is a sophisticated mobile living space, ready for the changing demands of the autonomous driving age. Finally, we've been selective and curated in the design process to give the cabin a sense of comfort, calm, and distilled purity. The inbuilt invisible air vents provide a seamless, uncluttered eyeline with a precise air out direction and a fully controllable atmosphere. The clean lines are accentuated by our intelligent waterfall lighting, which allows you to tailor the experience for every driving condition. We've scrutinized every detail in the ET7, especially the ones a passenger would interact with most. The ET7 is built with 14 carefully selected sheets of Karun, a unique and highly sustainable rainforest rattan. Each piece celebrates a touch point, providing a striking detail and a warm organic texture to the cabin. When all these elements come together, the ET7 is the purest articulation of our design DNA and the result of a long road towards the pursuit of perfection. This isn't just a huge stride forward for autonomous vehicles. It's our answer for the car that is ready for tomorrow. In my eyes, it's the perfect sedan.